Hey, we're on day six of our plan. We're, we're trying to help you kind of through the, the story of Jesus last week of his life. And we've got tomorrow, we've got Easter Sunday. And what an amazing Ooh. day that's going to be. We hope that you're going to join us for service Amen. tomorrow. Invite your friends, invite your family. Uh, we'd love to just have a, a big party celebrating the resurrection of Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, but today, for day six, we're, we're looking at Mark 14, 15, and 16. Mm. Um, lady comes, breaks open a jar of perfume, pours that on Jesus. His disciples and the people there are kind of like, dude, what's up? That, that's a lot of money. What are your guys' thoughts with all that? Straight up, it's the remembrance and the re you know, the memorial that she was doing at that time, and then he does that again at the communion table, the Lord's Supper. He's like, with this broken bread, remember my body broken for you, your blood, or my blood shed for you. It just always has stood out to me, and I love that. And then finally, one of my favorite passages in Mark 16, Jesus rises from the dead, goes and reminds the disciples, I'm here. But he tells the ladies before he goes and does that, go tell the disciples and Peter. And you remember Peter. Peter was broken, but not necessarily poured out for Jesus. Hmm. And now he's being reinstated and would be pulled out later That's on. Good. So, okay. Yeah, I think along the same lines is that I think we see, whereas in John we saw a lot of Jesus' response to us, mm -hmm. right? I think in Mark we see a lot of our response or what our intended response is That's to good. be towards him. That's good. And we see that lady pouring out, giving everything she, you know, she has, breaking this jar of perfume that's expensive on him and lavishing him. Uh, and, and we see Jesus talking about breaking himself for uh, people. And, that's right. And so I just, I see that, that reaction to what Jesus was going to do. Here's the intended response of that. You would just fall on your feet and just offer. Give what you have. Give liberally. That's good. Don't, don't be, uh, you know, chintzy with your giving. Right. Give it out. Instead of being afraid of brokenness, embracing it. Yeah, absolutely. That's good, man. That's and good. we don't know a whole lot about this lady. We know that that perfume was really expensive. I mean, it was probably uh, roughly 10 months worth of, of wages for a day laborer. So she, she wow. literally gave, if not everything she had, probably pretty close to everything she had to, to honor Jesus, to anoint him. That's right. And Jesus literally gave him all of himself yeah. for us. Yeah. He, he was broken and poured out for us. Amen. And, and he wants us to do the same thing. That's right. So, so how can you really just be sold out? You'd be broken and poured out for Jesus in your, mm -hmm. your walk today, this week as you move forward following Jesus.